ऑप्टिमा सिक्योर केयर सुप्रीम या नेवा वोपा रियोशोर 2.0 व्हिच इज द बेस्ट प्लान और कैन बी इवन डिफाइन अ बेस्ट प्लान हाय माय नेम इज काव्या एंड दिस इज श्रेहित एंड टुडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग समथिंग डिफरेंट आवर पर्सनल एक्सपीरियंसेस एंड व्हाट वी हैव लर्नड सर्विंग यू एट डिटो सो लेट्स स्टार्ट बाय आस्किंग कि व्हिच प्लान डू यू हैव so right now i have an optima restore policy hmm. um but i used to have reassure um and uh, my mother has care supreme hmm. and my dad has a policy from star that one of his agents sold and now he can't get a plan because he is of an advanced age and okay. he has a pre existing health condition okay. right so i am currently on restore but yes i used to be on reassure Um, what about you? What what plan do you I have? I have HDFC Secure. I actually purchased it recently, and uh, yeah, it's a cover of ten lakhs. But obviously, with the secure benefit, it became twenty. Yeah, no. So my idea was also to buy Optima Secure, <laughs> right? To migrate to Optima Secure. Yeah. But I think uh, what I did was when I was buying Restore, I bought it for three years or two years, okay. right? So yeah, I think three years. Right. So it was a three pay. um i did that because i didn't want future price increases to affect me for at least 3 years right so just a clarification you paid 3 years ka premium in a bulk correct right, right. so for 3 years so that i have the policy for 3 years and the premiums were sort of set at that point mm. in time only and so any inflation adjustments any other changes in pricing plan would not affect me in those 3 years i thought it would probably be a a, a prudent way to go about buying yeah. a health insurance plan and now i can't port but i think next year i'm going to move to secure because a to secure is i think slightly cheaper and mm. hdfc now has sort of completely migrated to correct, secure as well correct, right correct. so features are amazing decent price it's slightly on the pricier end but still i think it's value for money makes sense if you already if you're already paying for restore then paying for secure would not really correct make correct much of a difference correct but but did you ever consider you know care supreme or reassure yes i okay. did so okay. when i was reading about care supreme i was in love because they had the 5x feature you can essentially yeah. make your plan worth 500% of your base uh, base sum assured but then i did read up about the insurer in general and obviously i spoke with a lot of advisors here ki what are they thinking so they completely suggested that if i can afford the premiums for hdfc i should go for hdfc simply because it is hdfc right. it is slightly more reliable and i also spoke with my parents and they were like nahi nahi you have to go for hdfc because obviously they are slightly older right. they also have a uh, they have restore actually correct right. so they were like nahi hdfc reliable hai ye hai wo hai so obviously i had to stick to hdfc yeah i i think the case for care supreme only begins when either you can't afford the premiums for hdfc ergo or pre existing disease waiting periods right so my mum has care supreme correct right and when i was evaluating the plan um obviously the features are okay right i mean if you put the add ons everything i think it becomes a great plan okay. right it it yeah. it doesn't this thing problem is with the insurer as in you know probably slightly higher complaints volume uh maybe some issues with cares past you know religare antiques etc yeah. uh but personally from actually having worked with care here i know that care has a lot of offline presence right. so agents tend to sell their policies by making very lofty promises that ultimately end up turning sour right, right. and eventually right. claims don't go through people are upset and you know the insurer bears the brunt of it this happens with star as well hmm. but i think what we've seen internally with care is that it's actually i think i think right now we are dealing with a few claims from care every single day right at least one or two claims right. from care yeah. and what we see is we don't have as much difficulty dealing with them as we have with some other insurers right okay. so it's not been a challenge so i wasn't worried about buying care supreme for my mother hmm. but the thing that sold care supreme for me when i was buying it for my mom was the pre existing disease waiting period right so she has hypertension although she believes she has no hypertension mm-hmm. because you know she's like it's under control okay. but she takes pills for it yeah. so i w- i didn't want to wait 3 years for coverage right because if you have a heart attack if you have anything right there is a chance that the insurer may link it to the pre existing condition they may say oh it happened because of hypertension so i felt like yeah it's okay like if i can reduce the pre existing disease waiting period by paying extra premiums i'll do it and care supreme offers that option right you can buy right. back the pd 
and you only have to wait one year then hmm, right correct. so the one year will end this year and then she will have pretty much comprehensive coverage but talking about care supreme so it's interesting that you bought it for your mother because among the three plans we're discussing care supreme is the only plan which will give you coverage but will offer you plan till you're 99 right, so right. it's uh, correct yeah so for older folks as correct. well correct so it's actually a good option and uh, also for peds care supreme actually has a waiting period of 4 uh, 4 ah, years yeah, that yeah. is why they have those instant pd correct, coverage correct. and pd uh, pd modification rider so you can just add, have an add on right. and reduce those waiting periods but right. other plans would have like a 3 year waiting period right. so yeah so no i mean i, I I know that Care Supreme becomes very comprehensive once you start adding, you know, all the other riders, etc. Correct. But Reassure 2.0 simply on paper. I remember when Reassure 2.0 launched, hmm. right? And especially the higher end variants, the platinum, titanium variants. Um, people would look at it and they would look at the features, right? Lock the clock, restoration forever. You know, you booster get booster plus. Booster plus, right? and people would look at that and they say all of this for such a great price i think correct. that is the cheapest plan or maybe right around with base care supreme right without the riders i think they're roughly no, the same no exactly cheaper than care it's, it's still cheaper yeah and and everybody would look at it and even i right i would look mm-hmm. at all of these features and i'd be like i can buy a 10 lakh ka plan and probably have 50 lakhs by the end of 5 years right because right. of booster plus etc right, right right and i used to think ki why wouldn't i buy reassure 2.0 hmm. and i'll explain exactly my reasons my logic because i used to have reassure right and i think at one point in time we were big reassure fans okay. right this was right when we started it too and everybody you know in the office i think most of the people my co-founders hmm. myself everybody had reassure oh. and this is the first variant not reassure 2.0 right got it, got it. and even that that was amazing right it had your Uh, you know unlimited restoration i think that was the first plan that offered this feature at such a great price hmm. now so everybody is offering it but at that time it was like amazing but then what it, what ended up happening was a lot of our customers when they had to make a claim with neva bupa right hmm. almost on every case our team had to intervene right so I, i'll tell you the difference with hdfc ergo for instance optima secure optima restore any of these policies it ended up being you know a very easy task to get the claim approved right so we simply had to say listen here are the documents everything is in order and often times hdfc ergo would probably push the claim through hmm. and they wouldn't deduct a lot of money right with with neva bupa even though they would approve the claim they the investigations would tire us out right hmm. we had to answer so many queries the queries would come much later and sometimes you know there is this time gap and we felt frustrated with the experience not because they were not settling claims but because just dealing with the insurer as they were going through this management change etc it was probably not as appealing as we originally assumed right so once we saw that right i was like yeah listen i'm not entirely sure i want to be with reassure but then again there are people who will say you know what i love the features i don't mind glazing with the insurance company offering them more document support etc because i get so many features at such a competitive price right so i'll probably go through with it right there's no issue you know for me and then we're like okay reassure that makes sense for you reassure okay. 2.0 any product makes mm-hmm. sense for you but if you are somebody like me who wants the claim approved with very few deductions yeah. i'm like yaar you know the bet- better approach is to probably go with hdfc or go optima secure is their flagship plan right now right. simply because it 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 is the most hassle free approach to claiming insurance Correct. as opposed to buying insurance right Correct. but I, i i have another question for you like i i told you yes there is a case for reassure 2.0 in case if you are buying you know if you're looking for something on a if you're on a budget or if you want great features but is there similar case that you can make for each of these plans like who is hdfc optima secure for who is care supreme for who is neva bupa reassure 2.0 for hmm. right yeah i think we sort of can so uh, for per- Personally, for me, Neva Bupa Reassure, like I said, it has so many features that I sort of take a step back because it becomes overwhelming for me to understand those features right. as a buyer, right. right? So if we are, if I am, thankfully I am in the industry, so I am able to, you know, navigate through that. But as someone who has to do their own research, it will be tough. So we'll get there. But um, for secure, again, because HDFC itself as a brand is very famous in the country. We trust their banking services, we trust their mutual fund offerings, offerings and etc. So we trust HDFC as a 
as a brand itself. So slightly the inclination becomes that. Even the numbers, no? Like what are the of course, numbers like for optimum? It has the highest ICR as well as CSR. Like this. What is CSR, ICR? ICR is 81%, right. but the CSR is around 97% and the next best is at 90%, right. 90.99 whatever, right, right. that is for care. Correct. So obviously you can clearly see that HDFC wins by a lot of margin right, right. and it has good network of hospitals. Right now care has a little more. Purely based on the numbers, like forget about the experience that we've had serving clients at Ditto. Simply based on the numbers, can you then make a case that HDFC Ergo is perhaps one of the best insurers, if not the best insurer, like you said, this ICR bit, I think is very important because mm. by the way, for people who may not know what ICR is, ICR means incurred claim ratio. Simply put, what it means is if I am collecting 100 rupees in premiums from you, how much am I paying out in claims, right? So if I'm collecting 100 rupees in premiums from you and I'm paying out 83 rupees in claims, then my incurred claims ratio will be around 83%, right? Um, and what this tells you is that for the amount of premium that I'm collecting, I'm not being extremely stingy also. Like if I'm only paying 20 rupees in premiums, while I'm, sorry, 20 rupees in claims, when I'm collecting 100 rupees in premiums, what that could end up meaning is that I'm not maybe paying out as many claims, right? right? The volume of claims, maybe I'm being a bit, you know, stingy Correct. on. Correct. Um, but if I'm paying too much, you know, more than 100, for instance, yeah. then maybe my financial position is not too good. Maybe Correct. my pricing structure is not great. So this 80 to 90 is where you have the ideal sort of ratio. Right? Yeah, I mean, uh, at Ditto, we actually recommend like a 55 to 75. Correct. But HDFC, again, being a legacy brand, it Correct. makes sort of sense that they have slightly upper limit of the yeah. uh, ICR. Yeah, but it's it's something that customers will look at and say, oh, that's good for me, right? Yes, hmm. financially, maybe that will probably be a bit challenging. But right. for somebody like HDFC Ergo, that's backed by legacy institutions, exactly. you're not too worried about the financials, exactly. right? It's going to be taken care yeah. of, right? Yeah. Um, so higher in this case is, is better. Yeah. Is secure a good plan for you? Right. So if you're someone who's earning maybe above, you know, 8 LPA or 10 LPA where you can shell out a 12k premium or a 15k premium yearly then eyes closed go for secure right because again uh, even if you have great features and excellent features at the end of the day it matters whether you got your claim yeah and with HDFC we've seen because the numbers say so that the claims you will get the claim yeah. most likely because yeah. they're not too string, uh, stringy about you know um, finding loopholes or Correct. just like doing a lot of back and forth ki this document nahi hai, ye document nahi hai, get this Correct. note, get Correct. that note and when you have sh um, maybe paid like a 50k medical bill you are slightly anxious Correct. HDFC mein you can sort of maybe internally guarantee ki most likely aai jayega yeah and I'll give you like recently we had this one case right with HDFC Ergo Optima Secure and uh, a plan from another insurer whose name I cannot name right now because this is not a pleasant experience for them. Uh, so this insurer um, had, so the bill came up to be around 1.2 lakhs. Mm -hmm. Usme the deductions were up to 50,000. Now my first question was how did they even come up with these many deductions? Right. So what I found was the hospital had categorized all the room you know the hospital room related charges under one header basically room rent charges karke, they had built it separately right. right and then there were other items right surgeons fee consultant fee etc now if this bill went to say hdfc ergo hmm. right more more often than not hdfc ergo would not even ask for a breakup of the room rent charges because they've said there are no room rent restrictions right. i will pay for charges hmm. What this other insurance company did was they asked for an itemized version, a break, broke down version of the room rent, uh, you know, charges. And when the hospital provided it, they would also add things like duty doctor charges. Uh, mm -hmm. If you've read the insurance document, you know that duty doctor charges are not covered. Okay. However, that's just, what do you call, that's, that's procedural in nature, mm -hmm. right? I mean, it's finding a loophole, like you right. said. And this insurance company did it, right? They went, they dug around, they found that loophole and they managed to deduct around 8,000 rupees in duty doctor charges, right? And some other, you know, right. small, small matters. And so when this happens, you're like, why would I buy you, right? Why would I even pay for a, you know, for a policy where you're going to find, you know, dig and find and 
create so much issues for me that eventually even if I have to go through the claims process, it's not a pleasant experience, yeah. right? Whereas I'm not saying HDFC Ergo doesn't do it. Like there are mm -hmm. times when they are also very sort of finicky, very, you know, they also want documents. It's not like it doesn't happen, but it's the frequency at which it happens, right? Mm -hmm. Because now we deal with so many claims. I look at the frequencies and I always feel like it's much easier to deal with HDFC Ergo as opposed to these other companies. So people come and ask me the same question. They are, why are you recommending just these plans, right? right. Care Supreme, New Boria Shaw 2.0. Hmm. Why not bring in other plans, other newer plans? Hmm. The answer is very simple because ultimately I could sell you a policy, but what matters is when the claim comes. Yeah. If I can't guarantee you that, like imagine I sell a new age insurance company ka policy and I don't know how the experience is going to Correct. be. Right? And I'm, I, I'm, I get, you know, uh, you know, I, I put myself in a very precarious position because then I'm responsible for making sure, you know, I go to the grievance cell, I fight for you. And so if I don't have that confidence, then I can't sell. Right? So I can only speak from my experience. And based on my experience, like I said, the, you know, if I can buy a plan with a great price, right, with, and I can afford it, hmm. then optimal secure. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, in case I want to buy back PEDs, you know, maybe reduce my pre-existing mm. disease waiting period to one year, then care supreme. And then if I'm absolutely on a budget, right, yeah. uh, maybe I'll go with Niva Bupar, Yeshaw 2.0. Because like I said, it's not like they don't, you know, even they claim settlement numbers. They're not bad per se. It's just that okay. the experience hasn't been that great. Yeah, right? I mean, their volume of complaints is upwards of I think maybe maybe 40 plus yeah, yeah. so that's slightly higher like right. if you compare it with HDFC it's in a single digit HDFC right. 6 or 7 yeah. then we have care which is at 20 to 30 ke beech mein. then you have Neva Vopa which is at 40 k around Correct. but you can obviously uh, you know track it back to their management change and kahi bhi management change hoga, there would be slightly operational either other and we might see these numbers go down aage, but we can just talk about like the current situation. Yeah. I think I think a better comparison is just between Care and Neva Bupa because hmm. both are standalone health insurance companies, Agreed. right? Correct. HDFC Ergo, for instance, has motor and other businesses. So maybe complaints are going to be less in that division, True. not as high as this. Hmm. But I think Care and Neva Bupa are very good sort of baro, you know, sort of barometers to compare which one, you know, when it comes to complaints right. volume. Because you would think that care would have a higher complaints volume based on the mm -hmm. amount of tweets and messages yeah. that you see. But funnily enough, Nima Bupa has a higher yeah. figure. So yeah. it's 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 odd. But in any case, any lasting thoughts? Like, can you, is there any way for you to simply say that, okay, listen, this is the policy you should buy. This is the best plan. Or is it more context dependent? Can't, is it more like you have to make sure that, oh, listen, I have to know exactly who you are, right? And your conditions before I sort of advise which plan to buy. Correct. I mean, obviously, um, so there are so many plans in the market. And even if you ta target at like one insurer, they also have multiple plans for like different vari different use cases. Ki diabetes click alag hai, heart, heart conditions click alag hai, senior citizens ke liye alag hai, right? So when when we look at the cases, ki maybe the age is a little high. Correct. If your age is above 65, in three mein option is care supreme. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Correct. And like you had mentioned, for PEDs, care has better add-ons, right? You can get your coverage reduced to maybe uh, sorry, your waiting periods reduced to one year. You can also like reduce the waiting period to just the initial 30 days for some conditions also. Yeah. So if you want to like customize your plan a lot. Maybe Care Supreme is where you go. So with HDFC, the add-ons are not too much. Yeah. Like whatever the plan offers you, you just have to take it as is. Yeah. But kabhi -kabhi, uh, Care Supreme, mein, you get the option to modify your plan a little. You And obviously the add-ons you add, it might affect your premiums as such. So if you do not have a lot of PDs, you will not lead, need a lot of add-ons. But if the PDs hai and you're slightly older, then you might need some. So but there's a lot of flexibility with Care Supreme. But Secure offers you a fixed package, you take it or leave it. I agree. And I think that a lot of this is dependent, like you put, on who you are, right? What your age is, whether pre-existing conditions, right. what you're okay dealing with, what you're not okay dealing with. Like somebody has BP and they do not want to wait at all. Or somebody has diabetes, hypertension, asthma, zero waiting periods, then fine, right? right. I mean, you have to go through, go with the, um, you know with Care Supreme, maybe you want to go with Care Supreme or maybe you've had a bad experience with one of these insurers, like it could be HDFC or Go also, Correct. then you never go with HDFC or Go, right? So ultimately, I think what matters is 
a lot of context surrounding your use case and whether you are in touch with an advisor because ultimately when a claim goes through you have to have someone on your side fighting right. with the insurance company yeah. i think that is a consistent feature among all three insurers so i think that sort of encapsulates the entire discussion between these three policies so i think i think that's the sort of big takeaway here irrespective of which plan you choose i think ultimately it's best to consult sort of an advisor get some sense i mean it doesn't mean you have to buy these three plans right even if you get her advice and then you feel like you know what maybe there is another plan out there for me maybe i should consult somebody else and maybe i should buy the plan from an offline agent from the insurer directly even though there are not a lot of difference in terms of price i think making sure that you get that information in the first place before you purchase the plan is very important doesn't mean you have to finalize one of these three plans what matters is you evaluate them thoroughly you sit with an advisor explain your use cases explain your context your age your pre-existing conditions and then eventually if you still choose to hone in on a plan maybe you should buy that plan but otherwise i think you have to make sure that you talk to an advisor before you consider any of these plans so that was shahid so before you go we have covered and talked about these plans individually as well as the insurance companies that offer them you can check them out on our channel and if you want to get your current plan reviewed or just talk or know more about health insurance just feel free to book a call with us at ditto insurance the link is in the description